Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and today we're doing some walk around videos on some of our uh, new and used stock and this particular one is a 2014 on a 14 plate Bailey Autograph 740. So Bailey are from Bristol, British manufacturer. Uh, they started building motorhomes in around about 2011-2012, the Britain's oldest caravan manufacturer and they really revolutionised the motorhome industry when they came into it in this country. So the Autograph is their top of the range range and amongst other things they feature an Alco chassis, Aldi wet radiator heating. This is a 740, so the 740 is a low profile uh, 7.45 metre van uh, based on a Peugeot Boxer with an Alco chassis. That means from the cab back the chassis is actually done by uh, Alco who are a German specialist motorhome and trailer and caravan chassis manufacturer. That has a few advantages advantages it's a lighter stronger chassis it has proper independent rear suspension like a car instead of uh, leaf springs like most motorhomes so it handles better you can get a different variety of wheelbases it's much more stable and it's lower as well in this particular instance they use a, a, a low Alco chassis which uh, means you don't catch the crosswinds as much and it's easy access as well now where Bailey really shook things up a bit was how they build their vans. So the rest of the industry at the time were using wood frame, traditional technology. Uh, Bailey applied their Alutec build. So this van, all the, the coach work, the body of it, is built out of plastic, um, both outside and inside the vehicle. Um, with insulation in between sandwich construction there's no wood frame in the van it's then clamped uh, together uh, so it makes it very light very strong so you can have this uh, large luxury van uh, at three and a half ton with a workable payload it's very very strong and because you haven't got any wood in the upper part of the vehicle you have in the furniture but in the actual body of the van it's made out of plastic you eliminate your chance of damp which is great they can be damp in the floor that has been known they have a one-piece plastic under tray but unlike most motorhomes you don't have to worry about this top bit getting damp it can spring a leak but water will just appear which is uh, not nice but it's a relatively small problem compared to structural damp like its compatriots were suffering from so let's have a look at this particular one so she's a Bailey Autograph 740 2014 low profile with a fixed side bed ignore the seat belts bit this is just two seat belts it was a 745 which had four seat belts that had a different lounge arrangement this is a two seat belt van four berths uh, it's a Peugeot Boxer it's actually 2.2 130 horsepower engine uh, turbo diesel obviously six speed manual 21,000 miles, she's 7.45 long, 2.4 wide, which is a tickle wider than some, but you'll feel the extra space inside. Low profile, just under uh, 2.8 metres tall. Priced at uh, a very competitive 39.95. So let's have a little walk around the outside first. You can see they've got the smart black cab, which was very, uh, very on trend at the time. Um, We've had to borrow the wheel trims off of this one. It does come with wheel trims. We'll put some new ones on it. We just had to borrow them for another van that was going out that we needed some for. So they will be replaced with some nice brand new ones. Um, body works all very, very good. Looking very smart with minimal graphics. Um, coming down this side, we've got mains hookup. Uh, these are grade three fully winterized vans. So they have a really good Aldi wet radiator heating system. Uh, you've got uh, mains hookup. Uh, and a 100 amp hour leisure battery as standard. Onboard fresh water tank, which is filled up using its own hose that comes with the vehicle there from a tap like normal, or you can get a short hose for sucking in from a container if you prefer to bring the water to your van. Gas locker, we've got a good sized gas locker here um, with room for two bottles in it. You can see there that's a pair of sixes and there's plenty of room to spare. I personally would keep maybe my toilet chems and mains cable in there as well. This one's had an outside TV or satellite point fitted to it there as an option. We've got double glazed windows all the way around and the plastic bodywork. Uh, set for cassette toilet there, you empty it through there and that's where the cassette comes out and your flush water goes in above so you can put some of your pink chemicals in there. Coming around to the back of the van, we've got a four bike bike rack on the back there. And all in good condition in fairness to it. There's no sort of dinks or scrapes or things like that, which you would see on most motorhomes. It's got some reversing sensors on the back as well there, which is handy. No camera, but sensors. I prefer sensors myself, actually, in fairness to it. Uh, so walking back around, coming around to the driver's side, British van, so the habitation door is on the correct uh, side. 
got these nice big wing mirrors which are electrically adjustable. We've got a, a Fiamma awning has been fitted to it. It's got a TV aerial on the roof. You can just about see the edge of up there as well. Central locking, double locking habitation door with a fly screen. Big fridge freezer, the vents of which are there, so that sucks in cool air. That one blows out warm air. Bedroom window there, and then a, a large storage locker at the rear, which gives you access to underneath your bed. You can access this from the inside as well, but there's plenty of room in there. Oh, you probably can't quite see, but there's lots of room in there for all of your chairs. Your table actually sits, it lives there on that, that bracket there. It's just not in place at the moment. Your carpets are underneath of there as well. Plenty of room in there for all your chairs, your barbecue, and your general detritus that you need to take with you when you're motorhoming. All easy to access from the inside or out. So she's all in very good condition on the outside. Step into the inside of the vehicle. We can see the nice light up Bailey courtesy light there. Fly screen door. Then we come straight into the, uh, into the front of the van. Also, while we're here, let's talk about the heating system. The heating system, the flue for it, the hot water in the heating system, is back there. Now, it runs off of gas or mains electric. So if you're hooked up, it's electric. If not, it's gas, or so you can run it off both to heat yourself up quicker. Um, and it works off radiators. So through that grill there, you probably can't quite see it, but there's a, uh, there's a pipe, which is a radiator pipe with uh, tines running off of it. And they run all through the van. They run down the back of the sofas, around the bed. There's one in the bathroom as well. Uh, and that pumps warm liquid, just like your house, through the van. You can set your temperature, it will maintain it, just like your house or set a timer. Uh, it's a very soft heat, it's very quiet. Um, much nicer than blown air heating we've got it in our own van and uh, it's very very cozy in fairness to it once you've had aldi most people don't want to go back to uh to the blown air heating so stepping into the van we can see your lovely front lounge first so the 740 has twin sofas one either side and no seat belts uh, you can argue that it's legal to travel with adults in the back without a seat belt but it's a genuine gray area so we won't give you any opinion on that if you want to it's up to you but otherwise if it's just for once or twice a year don't sacrifice your comfort by having a dinette with seat belts. Just take a car as well, something like that, with the grandkids. Um, so this makes a double bed. You can just pull these together or you can swivel the cab seats right the way around and make single beds for your guests there. You've got more radiators here. Bailey, very clever use of heating. They tested these um, Baileys by taking them to the Arctic Circle in the winter where it got really cold. Uh, so they've run radiators all throughout the van wherever there might be a draft so by the habitation door which is actually airtight so you don't tend to get a draft there cabs are always a little bit cooler so you've got radiators running there and everywhere else it's really really nice so you've got a nice panoramic skylight that's opening at the front and another skylight there high level two-tone cabinet work with up lighters and spotlights underneath you've got these nice concertina uh, blinds and fly screens from remis which are the top of the range ones uh, for the previous owners of this van, I think it's had two owners, um, uh, the previous owners, uh, they asked us if we could make them a couple of tables. We don't normally do this, but we did that for these because it was a, a bit of a sticking point for them. So you've got a freestanding table that we saw under the bed that can be put up here. But what they wanted was a pair of um, coffee tables, basically. So these are both removable. We made them. Perry R. Chippy did a really good job of it. And these are on swing legs here. And you can take them out and not use them. You can put one in or two in. Very, very smart done in fairness to it maybe it's something Bailey should have done themselves but it's a really nice feature in the cab so only 21,000 miles from new so it's not a big average annual mileage you've got air conditioning cruise control you've got the euro 5 engine you've got full concertina cab blinds all the way around the front for darkening a little reading lights some storage over the cab as well which is really nice um, I think that's a digital stereo it's got a CD player it's got steering wheel controls uh, I think it's got your Bluetooth controls there as well don't hold me to that one but i think it's either digital or bluetooth or possibly anyway they kept on changing um year by year and i'm not fully up to speed i did used to sell these new and to be honest i can't remember what stereo it is but it's a very nice one panning around to the back of the vehicle you've got a raised floor here so it's at the same height more or less as the cab which is better for lounging uh, you've got a lift up hidden storage bit there and storage underneath these side sofas as well um that's all storage there for shoes and things. And when the carpet's down, you can't see that, which I think is a nice feature. Little lights there to illuminate the step up and a mains plug socket handy at the front there. 
lots and lots of space. This is where the Baileys really, really win. You've got lots and lots of floor space. Great if you've got a dog, if someone's cooking there, you've still got enough floor space for people to get through without barging you out of the way, which is a great thing. Kitchen is gorgeous. You can see here, it's a really nice space in furnace to it. You've got down lighters, you've got spots over there, you've got strip lights under there. Lots and lots of storage. Loads and loads of kitchen storage. British vans do do kitchens better than anybody else in the world because we do tend to cook in our vans. Nice to see the clip-on draining board that was supplied with it is still there. We've got a full oven, grill, grill oven, a three burner gas hob, one mains electric and then two plug sockets there for your kettle and toaster or whatever else you may wish to do. High level cupboards over here, plenty of storage there as well. Um, really really nice. You've got a concertina blind that comes across here to separate the bed so you can use it as a dressing area. Your forward TV point would be there, uh, it has had a TV bracket there in the past. Um, if you want to fit one there that's fine, it wasn't a factory option because it's a forward facing TV bracket, it's not safe in the event of a crash so we won't replace one there but if you want to fit one there you can do otherwise. Uh, freestanding table on there, big storage cupboard, massive fridge freezer, fantastic. Three way fridge freezer, runs off gas, mains electric or 12 volt when you're driving off your engine, all nicely lit up in blue and then you've got a, a microwave on top of that as well at not too bad a height. So the bedroom of the van, you've got a very large fixed bed with a very thick mattress. Some people prefer to put their own mattresses in. This is the original one. It's still in decent condition, but obviously there are companies out there who will uh, replace mattresses. You've got a proper headboard, five high level storage cupboards, big window and a big skylight. So plenty of airflow there. And just a little thing that you've got two uh, shelves so you can each have a brewing bed, which is a big thing in fairness too. It's really nice. Uh, wardrobe is opposite the bed. So when you've got your concertina blindfold across, you can uh, you can get dressed in comfort. So you've got two big storage shelves and then a really big wardrobe. That there is the expansion tank for the Aldi heating. So it will just sit there. Uh, you might hear the odd bubble from it, and that's the coolant or the fluid which uh, is pumped through your radiators, hanging rail right at the top there. This bed lifts up for access to the storage underneath, and then finally. Now the thing is with most French bed vans, as called them, side beds, they're a bit tricky to get out of. This isn't bad because you can skirt around and get out the foot end of the bed. It's wider because the van's wider than some and you've got a good bathroom. They try and squeeze these bathrooms down the side of side beds sometimes and they're very, very narrow, but this one isn't. It's a lovely space. You've got a massive separate shower there, which is in lovely condition. A wet hanging rail for hanging your waterproofs to drip dry in there. You've got a radiator there underneath your uh, towel rail so you can heat your towels up, keep them dry. And then you've got a nice big storage cupboard, a nice big opening window, a skylight and a couple of lights in here as well. As long as a full size mirror and another storage cupboard underneath your sink. All in very, very good condition. So this is the 2014 Bailey Autograph 740 at Highbridge Caravans Devon branch. It's priced at 39.95. It's done 21,000 miles. It's got the awning, reversing sensors and the tele-aerial plus all the factory stuff. Any questions, contact us through the website or give us a ring at Highbridge Caravans Devon branch. Thank you very much. Goodbye.